Are you serious? Are you serious? The Arc of the Arc de Triomphe of uh, Paris, France, has uh, graffiti everywhere. Riots in Paris. Paris on fire. The worst riot since the 1960s in a state of chaos. Grab a cup of coffee, everybody. Calm down and get ready for Sunday Night Ro- Sunday Night Live. I almost said Sunday Night Riots. Well, that's what Paris has been going through. The Arc de Triomphe has been destroyed with graffiti. But uh, I've got some fresh coffee. Let me have my coffee. Mm. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, French, the French president, uh, Emmanuel Macron, started the cleanup as the graffiti has finally been removed from the Arc de Triomphe uh, uh, 24 hours after the literally one of the worst protest situations. The protesters stole the assault rifle from the cops. They attacked the police. They burned the cars. They left 133 people injured in the worst riots in 50 years in France, in Paris. Matter of fact, the violent protesters took over the uh, Champs LCs and they torched the cars, smashed the windows, attacked the police. And according to Emmanuel uh, Macron, who visited the Arc de Triomphe, he uh, soon said that uh, he would, uh, as soon as he returned from the G20 in uh, Argentina, uh, the graffiti was removed, as he said it would be. But the protesters occupied the city center. They torched cars. They smashed windows with clubs and axes. They stole even an assault rifle from a riot police firing tear gas and water cannons in France's worst urban rioting in years. Matter of fact, the French president who faced calls for his resignation from protesters who scrawled anti-Emmanuel Macron slogans on the wall. And today they vowed to bring the rioters to justice as he inspected the wreckage uh, in the streets. The yellow vest protest, as it's being called, which began as a rebellion against this fuel tax hike, but has expanded into weeks of civil unrest, spread across the country yesterday and ended up with 133 people injured, including 23 police officers. There were 412 arrests just last night alone. President Macron was jeered by lingering yellow vest uh, protesters supports supporters before chairing a s- crisis meeting with ministers and p- even his own political parties were booing him and taunting him and uh, uh, heckling him. It got ugly, folks. It got real ugly in Paris, France. And uh, right now, I think that... Uh, you know, I think what's happened, this is unfortunate. This is not how people are supposed to act. The violence, the destruction the, dist- the of property and the, and the hoodlums and that kind of stuff. But you have to also understand that the people of France are saying enough is enough. You have taxed and taxed and taxed and taxed them to death. And then the migrant crisis that's overwhelmed the nation with immigrants and then they are being the, the, the citizens are being taxed to pay for all the immigrants. And so at the end of the then you throw a little bit more insult to injury by putting in this high tax on the diesel fuel. It just it 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 broke the camel's back. And we're, we're gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. An ugly scene in Paris, France. Our prayers are for everybody in France. Cooler heads prevail, praying for the people of uh, Paris and, and all of the people in, in, the, in the nation of France. Mm, dangerous situation there. And tonight when we go to, uh, we're going to be talking about that, but a whole lot more. You want to watch tonight's live broadcast, Sunday Night Live. It'll start at 7 p.m. Eastern. You want to be at my backup YouTube channel tonight. Go to the backup YouTube channel. That's Paul Begley Prophecy Channel on YouTube. I'll be right here in the the Salvation Station, right here in the studios here, 
in West Lafayette, Indiana, and we'll be covering all of these events going on around the globe, including the mega earthquake that hit Alaska and a whole lot more, the G20 summit, the stare down by Trump and Putin, and other major events that are taking place right now all over the globe, it seems like. And don't forget the super blood moon and the five waves of energy. I'm going to try to find Mike from around the world, see if we can get him in here tonight. We've got to. These waves keep popping up. Don't forget Tony Blair. He's back in politics. What does that mean? It's getting ugly out there. It's getting real ugly out there. Are we in the last days? Yes. Are we in the end times? Yes. Are we talking about the rise of the beast? Yes. Are you saved? I don't know. Some of you are. Some of you, I don't know. Ten, don't forget, tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll be live at my website at paulbigleyprophecy.com. I'll be live at new live stream, Roku Satellite Television, Periscope, and certainly go to my backup YouTube channel. The name of that channel is Paul Begley Prophecy right here on YouTube. Are you serious? 